Here we go. There it is in all of its glory. Are you ready? All right, now that you have seen the full magnitude of this fine machine, I am going to give you a kind of a little walkabout of it. I will be right back. All right, so for those of you who have been following along on this project, you're probably familiar with the base and what's going on underneath. But for those of you who might be new, let's let me give you a quick rundown. I built the base out of some plywood and some other boards. And below I have the standard Ender 3 power supply. I kind of rearranged things a bit from a couple of different Thingiverse things so I could get the cord and the power button in the locations I wanted. And then over here you have the control box that has the SKR 1.3 board in it uh, from Big Tree Tech. And you notice you have access to both the USB plug and the micro SD card over there. And that's about it for what's happening on the front and on the left that's been done before. Something new over here. I have mounted a power strip over to the right hand side of the base so that I have handy access to plug in both the printer, the, um, the lights, and the W1209 temperature controller board. And I um, even have spots for a couple other things like if I want to put a, a small vacuum or if I may need a heater in it. But we'll find that out as we go along. That's pretty much it for the bottom. Let's go ahead and move on up and take a look at it higher up. Over on the left, those of you who have seen this before know I have a swing out panel on the left with a handle. That makes it very nice when you open it up to get into thread filament. There is also the swing out door in the front, which also, and the fact that I got them swinging out in opposite directions like that, means they don't get in your way when you're working on it. You can reach around this front pillar from both sides and neither door is in your way. So that's that and now you just notice on the front I cut the square holes and I put the 5 by 7 plexiglass panels in. Those little panels they're just um, they're just the photo frame replacements. They're really inexpensive. I think five of them cost nine bucks on Amazon. And then I designed these frames. This board, this MDM board is right about four millimeters thick and the plastic was a clear plastic was about two millimeters thick. So these little frames I put a one millimeter projection like a lip on the inside on all of them. They're all the same. That way there's one on the inside and the outside and you set the glass in the center and then the frames kind of pinch it right into the center of the board. And again, those are my re-engineered little, little um, 3D printed fasteners, six millimeter threads and thumb nuts. Over on the right hand side, the right hand side and the back are mounted solid. I don't really see a need to take the right hand side or the back off and if I do at that point in time I'm probably going to lift the whole thing up. You'll remember from the early parts of this, this just sits down on a locating pin on the bottom. So the whole thing can be lifted off and it just sits down on those little alignment blocks and holds it all up. Going to the inside, I've got the IKEA little LED dome lights. Four of them. I have shortened all the cords. IKEA is extremely generous with the cords on these. and I probably cut a total of 20 feet of cord off. You'll also see the little thing that Octopus is out of here. What I did was I just popped this open and, and unsoldered the wires, cut them to the length I want, then popped the whole board, the whole little thing back together. That little puck comes apart. A pretty tight little fit, but if you're careful, you can pop it apart. Heck, if I can do it without breaking, anybody ought to be able to do it without breaking it. And um, you'll see right here the little probe for the W1209 temperature controller sticking through. And um, also inside of that little hockey puck for the IKEA is the power cord, so I shortened that as well. So let's go look over here. Here is the switch 
that goes to that. I popped this little thing open as well. Boy, is that challenging to pop open without wrecking it. Fortunately, the plastic is kind of, um, what do you want to call it? It's rubbery. It has some give to it. Like PETG or nylon, not like um, PLA. So you can push and press on that thing pretty hard. And it'll deform without breaking. So the power cord comes out and I shorten this. This was about 20 feet long probably, this cord that leads down to its power supply. The, um, I've got a little 12 volt, probably like half an amp, 500 milliwatt, might even be less, 12 volt controller for the W209. Up here, right now, the W209 of course isn't controlling anything, because I honestly don't know what kind of, I don't know whether I'm going to need a heater or a fan or anything else. So, I think that's just about it. I think this thing is just about done. It is awesome with all the lights off. It's the fan. Oh, well, there it is. Don't know how well you can see that with the lights off. You can see all the cracks in it where the heat is going to escape. But um, again, I have absolutely no idea whether this thing is going to need to be heated or cooled or whether it's just going to be fine the way it yeah. is. That's about it for now. We're going to do some temperature testing. We are going to, um, I've got it loaded right now with ABS. I have not printed anything since it's been completely enclosed. So we are going to do a little bit of temperature testing and we are going to see where we need to go with a fan or exhaust fan or maybe with a heater or maybe with nothing at all. So I really appreciate you guys following along on this project. It has been a real learning experience for me and a lot of fun too, but I got to tell you, I'm glad it's over because I've made a big mess and it was it was frustrating at some points in time but um i am happy that it's over and i'm happy that it's done and functioning so i'll get back with you guys as soon as i have some some results of the temperature in my abs test bye for now have a great weekend